The first thing we need to do is set a target to attack. In this case, a Linux box running a Telnet daemon. Now we choose a protocol. Brutus has many options, but we will use Telnet for this demonstration. Since brute forcing a password across the network leaves a lot of entries in the log files, it's best for the attacker if they use a proxy. For simplicity, I'll just go ahead and directly attack from my box. Brutus can dictionary attack both the password and the usernames. This could come in handy if the attacker knows a lot of accounts on the system and wants to only try one password, let's say the word fuck. If he chooses obscenities and there is not a strong password policy on the target box, he will surely find one that works. This also has the added advantage of not locking out accounts. In this case, we will choose to only brute force the root account. We can also choose to change the password file. For the sake of this demonstration, I am sure that the root password for this particular target was high up in the list. And there we have the password. There's a lot of other options to Brutus, but that's the basics.